The idea was very simple. It was a sort of what if in a conversation. And we thought, what if we just make past weathers something tangible and something that the audience can experience? Weather the Weather is an installation that recreates weather conditions of the same day but of past and future years. And the weather conditions and all the research that we've done recreates weather conditions of where it is being shown. In this case, the work is being shown in London. I'm an artist in residence at King's College in the geography department. I've been connecting with different people from engineers to academics to cultural geographers and my role is to bring these people together to find ways in which weather and climate can be made into more tangible experiences. The weather conditions that we are recreating are four particular years. The first is 1816, the second 1904, the third is 1990 and the last one is 2080. These all have been chosen because they reflect the political, cultural and historical ways in which our weather imaginary has been constructed. What Ines and I really like about this project is it gets us to reflect on our own relationship with weather. At the moment, people are living indoors and they occasionally go outdoors into the weather and our experience of the weather is mediated through technology. We watch weather forecasts, we looked at apps on our phones. We've inverted that and we've put the weather inside and the technology is what's creating the weather. So we're walking into a mediated world, but one which is internal. Part of my role was to collect quantitative data that we could then plug into the sensors. The data came mostly from the Met Office, 1904 and 1990 in particular. 2080 came from the UK Climate Projections Programme, also produced by the Met Office. 1816 required a little bit more digging and we found a weather diary collected by someone called W. Carey on the Strand. So I think where the weather is almost more like a feels like. So if it felt cold, can we make it feel cold in the greenhouse? We think it's going to be, we're going to feel hot and muggy. How help best to change the environment in the greenhouse to make it feel like that. So it's, it's, it's people's perceptions as much as anything, not, not necessarily what is measured by the sensor. Because it's quite well known that what you feel is quite different to actually what you measure. My role in the project was to help with the construction of the whole installation. The hardware that we've got in the greenhouse is irrigation lines to show heavy rain, light rain. We've also got fans to try and give the effect of wind direction. We've got lights, a cooler and a heater so that we can try and control the temperature inside the actual greenhouse. And we've got a mister so that you can have foggy conditions. I suppose I've mostly concentrated on the technical aspects, getting up and running and testing. So how effective uh, are methods of heating, cooling, raising the humidity, so, so forth. And not only that, we, we've got to make sure everything is waterproof. The electronics especially is uh, secure. Bruce and I mainly work in a lab, so we've not, I don't think, worked on art installation before so it's quite interesting to sort of use that technology to for a different end. What I would hope people will get, get out of, it, of this experience if they can actually feel this temperature, this, 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 this weather. The full experience I think will be quite, quite, quite useful in instructing people. I don't think it's just sensory, it's also the information behind the years we chose. There are certain areas that we have not yet been able to explore. Some areas like sound or scent, and we would like to tour Weather the Weather and present the work in a variety of different locations to create specific conditions that are relevant to where the work is being shown. What I've found fascinating throughout the development of the project is that extreme conditions have taken place in this very location. and. The value has been how people have adapted to these circumstances. So learning of these recent but distant scenarios might give us a key to rethinking what might happen in the future.